Pole fescue is an important turf grass for use in light to medium shaded areas in Oklahoma. We plant this grass principally in the fall because we'll have about eight months of good growing conditions for it to mature before it goes through its first tough summer. You can do spring seedings, but fall are going to be much more successful. When we pick tall fescues or cool season grasses, which they are an example of, we want to pick top performers. The National Turf Evaluation Program, or NTAP, is a tr national trialing system that allows a number of private industry as well as university breeders to test their materials nationally to find out what works best. While individual citizens may not have purchasing power to pick the best of the varieties, the marketing that goes on does generally put the best varieties in the marketplace on the shelves for consumers to pick. Now let's see an example of why we run these trials. To my left here, we see an example of tall fescue that's been struck by summer diseases. This would be a bad selection to work with. Hopefully the data sets will allow this one to be completely ruled out and we won't see it come out in the marketplace. But as you look around the trials, you can see a number of varieties that are surviving quite well. We've had heat indices in the low 100s. Uh, temperatures in the upper 90s and it's quite probable that we'll have some actual air temperatures above 100 degrees. When you pick cool season grasses for use in a lighter medium shade, what we suggest in Oklahoma is to use a tall fescue at 90 to 95 percent by weight in the mix with a Kentucky bluegrass at 5 to 10 percent by weight. Examples of that mix include the long-term a commercialized mix, Heartland, Heartland Supreme, and there's also a number of other types on the shelf. Now that again will be a small amount of Kentucky bluegrass mixed with a turf type tall fescue. Mixing those two species gives us cross resistance to diseases, so that's the concept. And then with the tall fescues, we're looking to use two or three different varieties within the tall fescue species in that mix. As indicated earlier, Oklahoma State University suggests a mix of turf-type tall fescue and turf-type Kentucky bluegrass to get cross-resistance against multiple diseases. Here we're at the 2017 through 2021 NTEP Kentucky bluegrass trial. Again, the bluegrasses should be mixed at about 5 to 10 percent by weight. They're actually 10 times more bluegrass seed per pound than tall fescue per pound. It's a very small seed, and that's why we use much, much smaller amount of it in the mix than what you might expect. Now, many people move to Oklahoma from the northern or upper Midwest, and they're used to 100% Kentucky bluegrass lawns. The reason we don't recommend 100% Kentucky bluegrass lawns in Oklahoma, even in the light or medium shade, is if you happen to have a poor performing variety, you can come down with summer patch disease. As you look around the trial here, you can see a number of varieties that have the disease. Here's one to my right, and you'll notice these are approximately five by five foot uh, research plots, and you see the disease occurring within that area. Some varieties are relatively unaffected, and then a variety right next to it will have a severe case of the disease. So here in Oklahoma, uh, we'll suggest the mix of tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass in order to try to overcome uh, diseases like summer patch. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.